Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance. But my conscience, how could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad dins cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. Oh, <laughs> 
Stop this, please! You're hurting me! Help! I need help! Please, anyone! Uh, Any enemy! Uh, uh, Thank you, my lord. I only wish my sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al Mualim then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Countering a strong attack will leave your enemy vulnerable. Finish him by breaking his legs, or by throwing him to the ground. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to 